So here's oh, the power cast. Definitely should uh, reach out to our CTO. And, uh, like something like he would be interested in. So uh, what's going on here? So is this wireless power? It is wireless power. So what's happening here is you have power at distance. And I'm trying to be like looking to collaborate. RF. Transmitters, uh, FCC approved RF transmitters that are sending out RF and it's being captured and converted to usable DC power. Uh, in this particular case, that usable DC power is being used yeah, to... So we are all RF. Can you hold it? Yeah, so what is this? So this is uh, being used to light an LED so, for demonstration uh, purposes. And so there's no battery in here? There's no battery. Um, battery. And all these devices, no battery? There's no battery in any of them. Like what is this E-Ink device? Uh, that is a, uh, a device so for uh, for price labeling. So, so it's this, dynamic. You can use the RFID reader uh, and change the, uh, the price of devices on the fly or change so the products on shelves on the fly. So, so how powerful is this? Signal. Uh, this is a one watt uh, multi-directional transmitter, uh, and this is a two watt, uh, both FCC approved. So they are, um, if you think about it, it's sort of like along the lines of, of Wi-Fi transmitter. So it's uh, it's low powered uh, and, and you know, baby monitors, Wi-Fi transmission. It's it's not. Uh, so it's like a Wi-Fi transmission in terms of. Uh, how much stuff is coming out of the signal? It's actually, we, we, we can harvest uh, at, at 2.4. Uh, so basically, the technology can take you from 824 right, well, up so to 2.4 and higher if you wanted to. Uh, our eval kits go through sort of six different antenna right, configurations, so, so it gives you total flexibility on how you might this is want back to. scattering right. to read this chip. Yeah. What is that? So it's not actively this is, transmitting. This is our eval kit. So you have See, uh, multiple you receive your, inputs, you your signal here, and then you uh, transmit from here. Is that, that right? Their, uh, capacitors. Not quite. So, uh, so the, this the technology is just receiving the energy. To, right. To replace and batteries. And also scatters And it can be used to augment batteries. But so this is in not this particular case. Um, um, interpreted as this is a battery configuration. Battery. That uh, each time that LED fires, it means that enough energy has been gathered out of the air to trickle charge the battery at, at left. So in the case of a wearable, uh, you could have this uh, essentially have lifetime battery. So you just put it somewhere nearby. Correct. And uh, what's the charging speed? Uh, it depends on the sort of the distance you are from the transmitter. So what will happen is if we look at this uh, out here. It's charging, and this is probably five or six feet away. Uh, but the frequency of the firing will dramatically increase with now we're a foot away, and you're seeing a lot more activity. So with RF, distance matters. So half the distance is double the power or more? You went to your physics class. That is correct. Yeah. So uh, and and uh, so, what's the status? Is it going to ship in a whole bunch of stuff? I think you're going to see this, um, and you're, you see it in the marketplace already in a number of HVAC and uh, and lighting control devices. I think you'll see it in the uh, not too distant future in quite a few things, whether it's uh, Internet of Things, uh, shelf edge labeling, etc. It will uh, it'll be showing up in a lot of places in the pretty near future. And uh, how about this? Can we look at that one? Mm -hmm. at, at is it an e-ink? This is actually e-ink, and um, this can be updated, again, uh, using RF. RF energy. The interesting thing about e-ink is it's yeah. so, uh, a have charge and stay. Yeah. So um, this particular product, uh, you can you can drive an image and there, um, so and then leave it distance. there sort of in it's perpetuity, power. and so it's because it, it uses very little power. So how do you how do you upgrade the picture? Is there enough power to change an e-ink page? Yes, and you can you can actually change the ink paper with with with, with Bluetooth so technology. A, um, it doesn't take a lot of power at all. So we can actually use Bluetooth communications to change that. Uh, and because of our power management that sits inside this, uh, this doesn't need to be recharged for uh, 2,500 updates. So if you were to use uh, it five times a day to update for various things, it would last you uh, the better part of a year. Nice, awesome. So uh, who's who are you talking to? Which kind of companies? Uh, we don't. We, we're, we're not disclosing that at, at the moment. You'll sort of see consumer the electronics or uh, consumer electronics, uh, sensor companies, uh, shelf edge la labeling companies, um, uh, so it depends on your, uh, your store, government so entities, a number number of folks.